Well, this month marks two years since George Floyd was killed. As we all know, the Twin Cities has been through a lot since then and also before. Now a local independent photojournalist is sharing his perspective with a new exhibit. Joining me is Demetrius Pendleton, who also known as King Demetrius. Thank you so yes. much for joining us about your new exhibit, which is called The Movement Never Stops. And happy birthday, because I know yesterday was your birthday, you. which was also the, the opening of this exhibit. How'd it go? All the hard work that you've put into this you kind of came to, you know, the peak last night. Everything was so amazing. It was so amazing. I just like to thank um, everybody for showing up. It, the support was just uh, filled with joy. Just couldn't ask for a better day. And it continues this weekend. Tell us a little bit about your story. When you first picked up a camera to start documenting things around you. Yes, um, I, re I really first started, picked up a camera in 2013 when my daughter by the name of Brandy Ann Banks Suda was tragically killed by a drunk driver. And there wasn't a lot of uh, media or attention on that. And I wanted to make sure that I brought attention to her story and her situation and made sure that her name was never forgotten. And also you got a lot of attention, a lot of followers with um, the unrest following George Floyd's death, which we were all trying to document to the, the best of our ability, but through your live streaming really captured a lot. Talk about that and just why it was so important to you to make sure you were there and documenting um, in your way. Yes, it was very important from an independent lens because I know like the main media, um, like you guys and other um, main medias, were able to put like certain snippets or what have they, but it was so important for independent media to be out there to give the raw um, footage, and if you will. And a lot of times when we're live streaming, Facebook will cut our live feed short and interrupt our page if they see something on there that doesn't go with their policy. But it's very um, discombobulating, if you will, because sometimes the policy is shovel to a certain way, and it's kind of biased as well. It don't give you the freedom to really um, speak the way you want to, and a lot of times you're not controlled about what other individuals say, so you're just there live streaming and documenting. Yeah, just unfiltered, you unfiltered. know, lots of times for hours and hours on end. Also, you were um, documenting with your, your camera, your still camera, and that's the exhibit photos that we'll see this weekend, but you said it's not just the unrest and the things following George Floyd's murder. It's other subjects as well that you focus on in your exhibit. Definitely. I also focus on breast cancer, HIV awareness, um, um, drinking and driving, distracted driving. I make sure I talk about um, the education um, gap, if you will, prisoner pipeline. I also talk about just a lot of things that goes on in the community about people are being impacted, angelversaries, how family are being impacted. A lot of stories that's not being told. I want to make sure that I bring voice to the voiceless. And roughly how many images are you having on display? Um, this um, particular exhibit, I'm having 80 images on display. And I wanted to make sure that um, people will be able to come in this exhibit and make sure that they see themselves somewhere in the crowd. I wanted to make sure there was a crowd of people. It wasn't just focused on one individual. We focused on the crowd of people. We want to tell people where they can come see your work. Uh, it is located at the Black Portrait Studios in St. Paul. The gallery is open to the public, and that is happening from noon until 7 today and noon until 5 tomorrow. There you have it. And you said tickets are available, but really you just show up and you can come and absorb this. And what do you hope is the big takeaway from people? I hope when people see some, they say some, and then they do some. That's the big takeaway I want. That's an important message. All right. Demetrius, yes. congratulations. Yes. I know it was a long time coming to this. We appreciate your time. Yep. King Demetrius. King Demetrius. There we go. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep. King Demetrius. Here's what's happening <laughs> in your neck of the hood. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs>